On the northern foreshore of Sydney Harbour, a rat war is about to be waged. And the winner will make the combat zone their home. On the one side is Rattus fuscapes, or Bogle, the Aboriginal name for the native bush rat. On the other is Rattus ratus, an invasive pest better known as the European black rat. The black rat is now firmly established across most of Sydney Harbour's foreshore. The bush rat, it hasn't been recorded here since 1901 but ecologists are confident that they can tip the balance back in favour of the bogle. The ecologists are part of a team pioneering a new approach to pest management. We're reintroducing an otherwise common species to try and deal with a pest animal. That's something that hasn't really been done anywhere before. Their solution is to bring back the bush rats. But first they have to deal with the black rats. They're like a disease in an ecosystem. They are so destructive on so many different levels. And what you've got to do before we can do anything else in the harbour, we need to take out this disease, we need to take out the black rats and put in the antidote, put in the native bush trap. The idea is the Bogles will defend their new territory against reinvasion by the black rats. Oh, there it is. The study will focus on 12 sites dotted along the harbour headlands. So this is the black rat? This huh? is the black rat. OK, so what I want you to notice about the black rat is the length of its tail and the thickness of its tail. And they use this for balance when they climb trees. So they're fantastic climbers, which is something the native bush rat isn't. And that's where you get the problem. They're terrible predators on nest eggs and they'll also kill a lot of the native birds. While bogles don't leave the bush, black rats, as depicted here by the closely related brown rat trained at Taronga Zoo, are happy to live with and scavenge off the human population. That's why just poisoning the black rats in the bush would be futile. There's always a reservoir of them in urban areas, ready to reinvade. So reintroducing the bogle is the only hope the question is, will it work? The team decided to test the theory at Taronga Zoo. Under that white container down there, there are video cameras that the researchers set up to look down onto a food source. Now, these enclosures were already dominated by bush rats. And what the researchers wanted to know was would the bush rats hold their turf when the black rat was introduced? This black rat has snuck in to steal the food. But what will the bogle do? Oh, now just run away. Yeah, and here's a bush rat, come in. Right, so rather get out of there than stick around That's and right. have a fight. They don't want to have the fight. The results that we've got so far does seem to, to play out that if you're the resident, you're actually able to hold the territory because black rats and bush rats are about the same size when they reach an adult stage. We often think that native fauna in Australia are, are vulnerable to all sorts of invasive species coming in and, and they're basically at their mercy, but in this situation we think that the bush rats can certainly uh, fight their own battles. But if that's so, what happened to the bogles on the harbour headlands? It's a good question. After all, for thousands, if not millions of years, they had the residence advantage and their dominance was uncontested. But all that changed with the arrival of the black rat, also known as the ship's rat. They came with the first European settlers. The black rat's wide appetite and knack for adapting to new environments meant they thrived. Their chance to capture the harbour habitats arose with the plague of the early 20th century, when a bounty of sixpence, four dollars in today's terms, was put on the head of any rat. This resulted in about um, 108, 110,000 rats being collected in Sydney. And I suppose these guys wouldn't be too particular whether they got a black rat, a bush rat, or any other kind of rat. No, indeed. It, it was a, an absolute rat annihilation. 
So why did the black rats come back and the bush rats disappear? The standards of hygiene were not very good at the time and it meant that black rats were, were all through the city and after areas of bushland had been cleaned out, they could simply move back in from the suburban areas. The bush rats, on the other hand, because of the, this great fragmentation of the natural bush areas, had nowhere to move back in from. The ecologists are currently six months into a three-year study. The first bogles will be trapped for breeding and release in 2011. Smells like a bushy. Okay, we'll bring it up and have a look. Smells like a bushy. Yeah, you can actually tell by the smell. Distinct smell. You're right. They really do, don't they? Yeah, That's but it's not smell. exactly a perfume, is it? No, it's a smell of success. It's a smell of success. It really is. <laughs> Let's have a look at it. We need the experimental proof to demonstrate that will happen. It's all very encouraging because we've got so many lines of evidence there that it is actually going to work. But once we get that experimental proof, then we'll be in a good position to say, this idea works. Let's take it to the rest of Australia and maybe to other parts of the world. How will you know when you've succeeded? We will know when, after probably a few months, once we know the bush rats are still there, they have established and they are breeding and they are feeding and they are doing well. If they're shagging, they're happy. That's what we want to see.